Hi everyone, Charles from Leta here. Today I'm going to be going over our Discord chatbot example. Um, it's basically an open source repo to help you get set up with a Discord bot that is powered itself by a Leta agent. So you can have a Leta agent with you know all the tools, the persistent memory, all the great things you love about Leta, and you can connect that to a Discord bot. So you can have a Discord bot that you know basically has long running memory, self editing memory, has all the custom tools you've written on the Leta server, can communicate with other Leta agents, can also communicate with people on Discord. And yeah, you basically connect that agent to Discord via this repo. Um, this is just one way to do it. We're using discord.js. But um, yeah, this code is extremely simple, really easy to modify if you want to also take this a lot further. So in this example, I'm going to basically clone this repo and run it locally. And I'm going to connect it with a locally running Leta server. So we're going to have two running things on our own machine. We're going to have our Leta server that's running. And we're also going to have the Discord bot that's running. We do also make it really easy to deploy this as a service. So we included like a one-click deploy here for Railway. We also have a one-click deploy uh, for Railway with the Leta server. So if you wanted to, you could kind of like run these side by side, run both the Leta server on Railway, run the Discord bot on the Discord chatbot service on Railway. Um, but yeah, this is really just out of convenience. You can um, set this up however you want. So to quickly show you what the end result looks like. This is from a previous session I set up. You can see that I have a Discord bot. This Discord bot um, I'm, I'm chatting with, this is my username. And yeah, the Discord bot is under the hood, a Leta agent. So we can you know, communicate with it over the Leta API. We can also communicate it with it over the ADE and like look at all the reasoning steps, look at the tool calls in the ADE. And the way we've set it up is that whenever it sends a message, it calls the send message tool, that send message goes to Discord and it gets displayed in Discord. And then likewise, whenever I um, or another user is chatting with the Discord bot, on a channel that it's listening to. So that's also something that's configurable. Um, that message will get caught and it will get sent to the Leta server. And that's you know how you're gonna trigger like a subsequent response from the from the Leta agent. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna go ahead and clone the GitHub repo. Great, and now I'm gonna CD into it. The next thing I'm gonna do is run npm install. Okay, and then I'm going to copy over the template M file um, into the actual .m file, and this is something that we're going to have to change. So, I can take a quick look at this. All right, so we can go through these one by one. Basically, the first stuff is all about your Leta server, um, the Leta token. So, if you're using a server that's password protected, or if you're using Leta Cloud that has an API key, this is where you're going to either put your API key or your uh, server password. If your server is not password protected, it doesn't matter what you put here. So you can just leave this to be the default value. The next thing is going to be the base URL. So we're going to run a server on localhost. Um, this is kind of the default if you if you use the Docker run command. So we can actually leave this as is. Of course, if you're running your Lettuce server somewhere else, you know, on some remote service, then you're going to have to change this to be your, your static IP. Next is the agent ID. So this is pretty important. Um, this we're gonna have to you know change to be the actual Leta agent ID. What this the Discord bot code will not do is it's not going to create that Leta agent. So we're gonna have to create that Leta agent first. Uh, but once we create that Leta agent and we have an ID handle for it, then we're gonna set the ID appropriately. The next stuff here, uh, so this use sender prefix, we'll kind of get into this more later. But basically, this is whether or not you want to attach at the front of a message of who sent it. So when you type a message in Discord in the channel that the bot is listening to, you you can either just send the message directly to the server, you know, the contents of the message, or you can prefix it with something that says like, you know, Charles or Packles said X. Uh, and that way the, the prefixes are useful because it lets the Leta agent kind of know what's going on, like who sent the message as opposed to just the contents of the message. This other stuff here, the app ID, the Discord token, the public key, these are all things that you know, you're know you going to have to get yourself by setting up your app on Discord. So if we hop back over to the readme, you can just follow this link here. Um, basically, this is going to take you to the Discord website. And this is where you can you know create your application. This is going to be the name of your bot. Um, you're going to have to do something. This is, you know, you can, this is where you can grab the application ID, the public key. You're also going to have to get the token, and you're going to have to set some permissions on your bot that are going to allow it to effectively like listen and send messages. 
and the last thing you're going to have to do is you're actually going to have to take your bot and put it inside of your Discord server. So on Discord, if you copy this link out and you use it, you'll basically like have a deep link that pops open in the Discord app and it will um, ask you whether or not you want to add this bot to your server. Yeah, so these are all things that um, I've already done, but it's pretty straightforward. Just follow the readme. And yeah, if you have any questions about it, definitely ping us on ping us on our own Letta Discord. I'm happy to help. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is create the Letta agent. I mentioned that you know the Discord bot code doesn't actually create the Letta agent. We have to create that ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and start the Letta server. Uh, this is the standard Docker run command to kick off the Letta server. Here I have you know OpenAI key and Anthropic key. You know you can pass one one or the other, or you can if you're using another provider like Together. Uh, LM Studio, whatever you want, you're going to pass in here. Just for me, I'm just going to kick it off with uh, Anthropic and OpenAI. So now that I've started the server, it's kind of booting up and it should appear shortly. Great. Yeah. So let's go ahead and create an agent. I'm going to start with this template here and then edit it. All right. So I created an agent. I decided to set the model to 3.5 Sonnet. And one thing you'll notice if you look in the human block here, uh, the human block of memory, is that I actually added some um, kind of specific instructions by Discord. So I added my username, both my username on Discord and then also my ID. Um, you'll kind of see in a moment why I did this. And then I'm also kind of adding some information that allows the bot to kind of understand how to send messages in a way that will render properly in Discord. So if the bot wants to, for example, tag me on Discord and have like the dynamic link render, then it's going to have to use this sort of format with like the and um, the ampersand. Uh, or the at sign, and then like the Discord ID with the carrots on the left and right. Um, otherwise, this this template is uh, the same as like the starter kit. I didn't edit any of the text here. Okay, so now that I created the agent. Basically, let's copy this agent ID. All right, so I pasted my agent ID in here, and now I'm going to go fill in these other things. You know, based off of the information um, that's specific to my Discord bot. And once I do that, I'll kind of tab over. Okay, so I added all the environment variables I need to add. The only thing left to do here is to run npm start. All right, so you can see that it logged in. Now let's pop over to Discord. All right, so over on Discord, let's go ahead and try to send a message. Okay, so you can see in this example, I sent a message and actually nothing happened. And that's because I didn't tag the bot. So I can go ahead here and the specific bot I'm working with is the Soletabot one, um, as you can see. Say, so in this case, it actually triggered. You know, we can look at the, the code here. We can look at the debug trace. It says it's sending a message out to the, you know, sending a message um, to this agent. So this is the agent that's driving the bot. And yeah, so everything seems like it's working. That can reply as well, and the reply will also trigger it to run. Okay, so sending another message. Okay, so everything's working as we expect. Um, and of course, because this is an agent in Letta, this means it has a corresponding view on the AD. So if we head over to the AD, yeah, so now we're on the AD and we're looking at the exact same agent. And yeah, you can basically see the exact messaging trace. So for example, this first message, hey, how it's going? Hey, how's it going? Where I didn't tag the bot, um, that's not tracked in here. The first one that's actually tracked is when I tag the bot and I say, hey, hey how's it going? And you can see the style of the message. So I, I talked earlier about kind of tagging with prefixes. So if you turn that flag off in the M vars or in the um, .m file, you're not going to get this. But I think it's pretty useful to have because it gives information to the user. So we have this prefix that basically says, you know, packjam, which is um, my username, and then my ID, sent a message mes mentioning you. So this helps the bot know exactly what happened. I like, I did a mention versus I did a reply. Um, because if you see like this message down here where I didn't mention, I instead replied. Um, instead it says, you know, packjam replied to you. Um, so this is kind of additional context that is like very obvious to us if we are looking at Discord, but we are kind of, instead of, because, the bot can't, you know, visualize this itself. We're writing it down into text for, um, for the purpose of the LM or the agent. And of course, because this prefix tag includes the message ID, and because I gave, kind of gave the instructions on how to add users, the agent when it sends the message back is able to take this ID, put it into the message, 
and put it in the correct tagging format so that in Discord, I actually get the proper, you know, the proper tag. So if you go back and look at the settings file that we have, this is kind of what I was talking about with the sender prefix thing. If you set this to false, then we're not going to get um, this sort of like prefix in the messages. And something else that, you know, you might want to change here is if you actually do want the bot to reply or like get events about messages that don't have a tag or don't have a reply. So for example, this message here, then you're going to want to turn off or you're going to, you're going to want to set respond in generic to be true. Um, similarly, if you don't want the bot to be able to respond to DMs, you want to set this to false. Message mentions, you know, we have this to on. And another option that you might want to consider is whether or not you want the bot to be able to reply to bots. So that's what you do here. And lastly, one option that you might be interested in is by default, when you add the bot to your server, um, as I did here, I added it to the server called Lettuce Sandbox, the bot will be able to listen on every single channel. So if you want the bot to only listen on channels, well, every single channel that it has access to via its role, but by default, that might actually be a lot of channels. So if you want the bot to only listen on a channel, let's say like group chat, then what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to go to like this channel that you want. You right click on the channel to copy the channel ID. And then this channel ID is what you're going to paste in here. So you're going to have to uncomment this line and you're going to have to set discord channel ID to be that channel ID. And then the bot won't actually reply to anything that's not inside of, for example, a group chat. Yeah, so that was a really quick example of how to set up Letta with Discord. It's really simple. Just run a Letta server locally and then also run this Discord service locally. And yeah, the two are extremely easy to connect to each other. The code's all open source, really easy to customize. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Thank you.